Today's lecture review is on Chapter 24, Facial Makeup. The field of makeup artistry is a very rewarding segment of cosmetology. The makeup application techniques you employ will vary as greatly as the skin type and personalities of your clients. The goal of effective makeup application is to enhance the client's individuality rather than offering a makeover based on some ideal standard. Foundation is a tinted cosmetic, also known as a base makeup, that is used to cover or even out skin coloring, conceal minor imperfections of skin, and protect the skin from climate, dirt, and debris. It is available in liquid, stick, and cream formulas. There are also primers that are used to help disguise less than perfect skin. As far as the chemistry of the makeup that we use, liquid makeup is a water-based foundation with emollients. Oil-free is intended to be used on oilier skin types, and a cream foundation is oil-based and thicker than liquid. Concealers hide dark eye circles, they cover blemishes and discolorations and are available in tins, jars, and tubes with wands. Face powder adds a matte finish and absorbs oil and sets the foundation. It comes in a loose and a pressed form. It's a mixture of talc or cornstarch and pigment. Eyeshadow accentuates the eye shape and it complements the eye color. Eyeliner is used to define the eyes and make the lash line appear fuller. Eyebrow color is used to add color and contour brows. It's available in pencil and powder form. Should not harshly contrast with the client's hair color. Your cheek color is called blush or rouge. It comes in powder, gel, and cream. The application should look soft and should look natural. Lip color, your lipstick or your gloss, there are formulas of, they're formulated of oil, waxes, and dyes. They are used to enhance or correct the shape of the lips. A lip liner is used to line the lips to keep lip color from feathering out. Mascara is used to darken and thicken the lashes. It's a polymer product and includes water and wax, thickeners, film formers, and preservatives. Some contain lengthening fibers. Other cosmetics that you may use would be eye makeup removers, grease paint, and cake or pancake makeup. There, we use tools in makeup application along with brushes. If you're using a brush, the hair is the term for the bristles. The ferrule is the metal part that holds the brush intact and supports the strength of the bristles. The handle comes in a wide range of lengths and can be made of wood, acrylic, plastic, or metal. You want to gently clean these brushes with an antibacterial detergent followed by a commercial cleaning solution. You have powder brushes, blush brushes, concealer, lip, eyeshadow brushes, eyeliner brushes, angle brushes, lash combs, brow brushes, tweezers, eyelash curlers, and pencil sharpeners. Some of these are listed as brushes, but listed as makeup tools. There are single use implements. These are sponges, powder puffs, mascara wands, spatulas, disposable lip brushes, sponge-tipped shadow applicators, cotton swabs, and cotton pads or puffs. Once you use these, they must be disposed of. You want to use color theory in your makeup application. There are warm and cool colors. Warm and cool colors from the basics of all makeup application. There are three main factors to consider when you're choosing colors for the client's skin. Look at their skin color, look at their eye color, and look at their hair color. Remember, we need to determine the color of the skin. 
You want to make these selections by deciding if the client has fair, medium, or deep skin color. Complementary colors for the eyes, neutral is always the safest. But if you have blue eyes, you can use orange, golds, peach, coppers, mauves, plums, taupes, and caramel. Camel. If the eyes are green, brown-based reds, red oranges, red violets, violets, coppers, rust, pinks, plums, mauve, and purples are a good choice. Brown eyes can wear any color, including greens, blues, grays, and silvers. When you're adding your cheek and your lip color, coordinate from the same color family as the eye makeup. Also, for the hair and eye color, coordinate coordination with the hair and eye color and their eye color with their eye makeup. Make sure to look at the charts in your book. For mature skin, older clients that may have uneven textured skin due to wrinkles or sun damage, shimmer, glitter, and frosty colors can accent the dry patches and the wrinkles. So try to avoid those. You also want, you can alter the face shape with makeup through highlighting and contouring. Analyze your client's face. Is it oval, round, square, triangular, heart-shaped, diamond, oblong? You can also alter the forehead area for a low forehead or a protruding forehead. You can alter the nose and the chin area for large and protruding nose, a short and flat nose, and a broad nose. You also can alter for a protruding chin and a receding nose, a receding chin, or a sagging double chin. You can alter the jawline, a broad jawline or a narrow jawline. All of these things remember that darkening diminishes and lightness illuminates. So if you have someone with a very wide chin, you can contour with a darker color. Alternating eye shapes, altering eye shapes, people have round eyes, close set eyes, bulging eyes. This can be minimized by blending the deeper color shadow over the prominent part of the upper lid. Blend the colors from the outer corners inward towards the center and carrying it just past the creases. There are all types of corrective makeup for eyes, for small eyes, wide eyes, and deep set eyes. You also can alter the eyebrow by using different products and you can alter a low forehead, wide set eyes, close set eyes, a round face, long face, and square face. Lash enhancers and lengtheners contain fibers to make lashes look larger and fuller. Latisse is a product containing bitmatoprost. It shows a difference in two to four months of regular use. Look at your book and look at any type of equipment that we have available for you to look at the different shapes of the lips and how you can correct those lips to look perfect. Remember we can camouflage, we have camouflage techniques for skin tone. Some skin tone is ruddy or red, some is yellow. So there are all types of camouflaging techniques. You want to look at your steps for basic makeup application. There are step-by-step -step procedures to enhance your client's feature, and these are listed in your textbook in Chapter 24. Remember your client consultation area needs to have good lighting, and this is where you are gathering information. When you're applying makeup, you want to apply the foundation matching to the skin tone. Never try to darken a person's skin with makeup. Match it as close to the natural skin tone as possible. You want to blend this with disposable makeup sponges to avoid a line of demarcation. You want to apply concealer, powder, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow powder, 
eyeshadow, eyeliners, blush, lip color, and mascara. If you're going to apply artificial eyelashes, there are strip lashes. You want to remove the strip eyelashes and then knowing how to remove the strip eyelashes. And there are also individual lashes that can be used. There are all types of special occasion makeup for your eyes. You can make a striking contour to the eyes or a dramatic smoky eye. There's also special occasion makeup for the cheeks. You can use a darker blush under the cheekbone to add definition. Apply with a blush brush and blend carefully. Add a brighter, lighter cheek color to the cheeks and then blend them together. Use a cheek color with shimmer or glitter over the cheekbones if you want highlight. You may use cream or powder colors. There are special occasion lipstick, uh, lipsticks that can be used. Fine lips, you can fill with lip pencil and blot. Add your lip color and then put gloss to, in the center of the lips. When reviewing on makeup, you need to know how to identify the basic face shape and that the oval shape has artistically ideal proportions and features. What can you do in your application of makeup to enhance a client feeling better about themselves by creating the illusion of an oval face? Corrective makeup, shadowing, and highlighting, we can create the illusion of oval for almost any face shape. We can contour the face through shadowing and highlighting and minimize facial features that are unflattering. We need to know how to use corrective makeup procedures. Being able to effectively apply corrective makeup will make you as a professional very valuable to your clients.